Hey everyone, welcome back to The Rocketeer. Have you ever wondered how much thrust your experimental motor generated or how high your rocket would fly? Well today I'm going to show you how to construct an easy to build, inexpensive thrust stand so that you can measure the performance of your own motor. Let's take a look. I purchased a carbon steel hole saw set like this. It has a variety of different saw sizes in it and you shouldn't have any problem finding one that works for you. Now the size for the 38 that fits in an inch and a half PVC pipe is a little bit smaller than I use for the 54. The support stand is 14 by 20 inches long. It's just made out of three quarter inch plywood on the top and bottom. And the uprights here, the supports are 12 inches tall. Now I found 12 inches to be about right because any shorter and you don't get enough light in the front here to illuminate the dial underneath. So you just need uh, some space there to allow for that. Now for a 38 millimeter motor, it fits in an inch and a half PVC pipe, just perfect. And so what I do is I made up this foot piece here to support it on the bottom. It helps if it has feet like this because the stand is the most accurate when supported as if you were standing on it. So that'll go underneath there slide in the motor support line everything up make sure this is a uh, vertical and you want to make sure that you have access to the sight hole with your phone because i use a phone to record the data for the 54 millimeter motor you just reverse the setup make sure everything is vertical and lined up properly and then when you're ready to test the motor you take your camera align the camera lens so that you can see the dial on your phone then I take a brick and put it on top of the phone. And you don't want to use your primary phone for your testing because sometimes this happens. Yeah, we'll talk about that in another video. But anyways, the stand is fairly simple to, to assemble. You don't really want to spend a lot of time on it because as you can see, sometimes things go sideways and well, then you end up either rebuilding it or making another one. We'll take a look at the scale that I use because it's inexpensive and it works really well. The scale I use is made by Healthometer. It has a nice large round dial. It's well dampened compared to the other scales that I've used. Once you get your motor set up and all the weight on it, make sure you zero it out. That way it's easiest to enter it into the spreadsheet that I'll talk about later in the video. 